Hey, uh, Brad Curran with the Street Rant. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Brad. Hey, Janet. Dante, how you doing? Doing awesome. great. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, why don't we just go ahead and start off with uh, how, uh, you know, the uh, Avatar podcast, how, uh, you know, that first got started and how you guys became involved with it. Sure, yeah. Well, uh, uh, I, I have been doing podcasts for many, many years. I've had my own podcast for about nine years, and I have a, another podcast that I do, like, sort of a space improvised comedy adventure on um and i love podcasts i am a huge podcast listener and i did feel the absence of an official um avatar podcast and as it happened i i keenly felt the absence and happened to line up with the keenly felt absence that nickelodeon also had and so um i feel really really lucky because that was a real kismet situation where i was like can we and they were like can we and then we said can we and what about and then what about dante and then everyone said yes that is the missing ingredient hey so that's amazing and dante had been doing uh a bit of a recap on his Twitch channel. And so I remember when I reached out to him, I was like, Hey, like, we really want you to do this. Um, I know you've been kind of recapping. Like, do you feel like you've like been there, done that? And he was like, Varney, I got a lot of homework to do if we're going to do a recap podcast (laughs) and we're, and have separate deep dive episodes with people from the show and stuff. Like, trust me, the Twitch was not, I did not cover this territory on Twitch. I was like, phew. But it's like you said, I think it's all, you know, just kind of serendipitous. These things were all happening at the same time and kind of like just, you know, just kind of, we're all at the right place, right time, thinking the same kind of things. And what we were doing on my my Honor Society Twitch channel was totally different than the podcast, but I'm also a big fan of podcasting. And I was on Janet's podcast, JV Club. And, uh, and I love, I mean, I, I literally listen to a dozen podcasts a week. So getting the chance to do a podcast with a you know an old pro at podcast and an og podcaster <laughs> uh before I these at, newbies like michelle obama came on the scene i, know, I mean I, what is she who is this michelle obama why does no i can't even you just said you'd been doing it for nine years that sounds so crazy i'm podcasting <laughs> yeah well and uh, uh, you're gonna be going through each uh you know episode of avatar uh, one by one so, uh, and you'll be having, you know, like different uh, guests on. Can you say uh, anything yet about, you know, who will be, uh, you know, who's making an appearance? I mean, people from the show, obviously, but is that still under wraps right now? Yeah, I, mean, I think we, we figured that we could, we, we didn't want to say, we didn't want to keep everyone a surprise because then it might sound like we were hedging and we had no one. Um, yep, and- <laughs> no, but actually no one's coming onto this podcast. It's just me and Barney talking about paint drawing. Them. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, but we do, we, there's a bunch of stuff planned that, um, or confirmed that we are really excited about, but that we also, um, we want the fans to find out about right before it happens so that they can have these rolling waves of excitement instead of just one big excitement. But um, we definitely can say that we've had uh, Mike and Brian, uh, Mike DiMartino and Brian Konetsko, the the creators of the show on who are super excited about the podcast. And uh, I feel certain we'll be answering yet more questions because I feel like we just like dipped a toe in the questions from fans and from us pool with them. Um, Dante, when, who else? Well, we could say my old pal Sokka, voice of Sokka, Jack DeSantis, Santa joins us uh, for an episode and we really kind of get to catch up, uh, which I loved. And, you know, he's so funny. And Janet and Jack are part of the improv family, improv. <laughs> so they're very, very funny. I was just kind of like, look at these guys ripping right now. We have fun. Was that, did you listen to any, uh, Brad? Did you get to listen to a couple? Oh, you're, you're on, on mute. mute. Sorry. Yeah, they sent the first two over, and um, uh, yeah, I was able to you know give a you know listen to that. It's, it's really it's really fun, kind of going down memory lane, you know, having you know followed the show for so long, and uh, you know, is it also going to be because you're going chronologically, is also going to be going into Legend of Korra? Yeah, yeah, I think we uh, we can't. But when we've been living so long just in book one, um, that it's amazing to think that we have found a way to um, secure ourselves right next to Mike and Brian, who, who are like our dads. 
uh, <laughs> my two dads. Our, sh our show, our show character dads, that we have somehow managed to weasel our way back into their lives and to into the the Avatar verse because we're such huge fans. So kind of coming at it from a meta uh, way in talking about all of this stuff and and learning so much about it and and celebrating it um, has really already been so amazing that like I'm I I can't wait to to get deeper and deeper in and then start into core, but that feels so far away because we are so deep into Avatar oh, right now. I know that's too, it's like, we feel like we're freshmen. That's like senior year. That's, that's right. That's right. That might be grad school. That might be, might grad, be grad school. school I don't but, know. But you know, Brad, we're, we're going all the way. We're going Brad, we're, all the way Brad, we're through in this it, baby. Brad, we are in it, Brad. We're in it, Brad. So, um, yeah, so uh, um, and kind of going off of that, uh, what are maybe your, you know, from each of you personally, because you're going one episode at a time, what are maybe like your personal favorite episodes of the show that uh, you were look, kind of looking forward to, you know, sort of diving into? Oh my gosh, um, there's a lot. There's a lot. I, I'm personally, I, we haven't gotten there yet, and I really can't wait to get to the beach. The beach. Oh, the beach is so good. Oh, it's, so far it. away. it's so far it's away. It's so far away, but I can't so far away. It's so, so, so good. Yeah, the beach. I mean, even like within book one, I can't wait for the moment you see the Northern Water Tribe for the first time. And yeah. just the, I can't wait to dig into the mechanics and the design of that play. I mean, all of this stuff that you can just hardcore nerd out on that isn't that isn't just about the voice actors that isn't just about you know the the legacy or the lore of certain character arcs or what have you but just getting into the inspiration behind stuff and the, and the some of the science behind it <laughs> you know i mean we're gonna find out I, I mean apparently Sokka invented just about everything there is including like uh natural gas so we got a brilliant, we brilliant gotta, guy there's statues are there, that's are there right statues of soccer around during the core time because it, it need, there needs to be some statues of soccer he's a brilliant guy he's a brilliant brilliant guy he's got his problems but he's a brilliant guy <laughs> and um because you know dante you'd also uh, uh you know played uh you know, you've been part of a legend core too so um um you know, you know not as successfully as avatar so what was it kind of a you know I, I, what's kind of the, the experience you know the difference between like avatar and Legend of Korra and how you feel like kind of revisiting, uh, you know, those two side by side. Yeah, it's so great. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited to get into Korra. I, I was grateful to be a part, uh, continue to be a part of the Avatar family and hang out with the new gang, Janet and her her crew, trying to save the world, even though we know we did it already. I, I Just kind of like the older statesmen coming back down to the new, the younger classmen going, we did that, but I'm here to help you out again. It's true. I feel it. I feel it. I acknowledge it and I embrace it. I agree yeah. with you. You know, Fire Nation. And then it's kind of cool just to come back and play your grandson. That was pretty, pretty fun. You know, in the Fire Nation, sometimes the voice is, the voice gets passed down a generation and then it can kind of continue going on. But to go back, I'm really excited because, um, uh, you know, Core is a whole different world. And I, although I've watched a lot of the episodes throughout the years, so especially the episodes I was in, I have not gone to a deep dive into Korra. So I'm very excited once we get through airbender to go into core and see see everything varney did varney what'd you do what kind of, kind of what happened over there listen i can't even i bear i can barely remember i can barely <laughs> remember i all i just live in the last airbender now i live in right. the, the last airbender uh no i mean there's a you know i similar to you like when i was doing it i was steeped so deep into doing it and into being that character and and then I watched the episodes when they came out and then there's, it's such an intense, Korra is so intense that um, it's also like, that's like a, that's, when people say they just got through Korra for the first time, I'm like, how do you feel? Do you need to take like a two hour nap? Because that's all, that's like intense stuff that happens. It goes places that it's unbelievable that a Nickelodeon show got to go. So I would need some serious help talking about Korra. I'm glad you could be with me, buddy. Yeah, I can't wait. Awesome. And uh, so I think that's the only thing I had. So, uh, yeah, uh, Dante, uh, Janet, thank you so much for your time today. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing the you know podcast uh, you know unfolding. And we'll be following it. I'll be following it very closely. Oh, awesome, Brad. Thank you so much. Thanks for putting up with us. Thanks for listening to those episodes. And I'm glad that you still wanted to talk to us after you listened to them. That's you're thank one of the first Brad. people to hear them. So that's a good sign for us. Awesome. Well, take care. You too. Bye.